This Paul Thry will be press parts. We're gonna show you how to check the oscillator drive block on the 3302M Ryobi. This is the back end of the press, the delivery end, where the wash-up tray goes in here. Here's a lever to pull it, it goes up in here. So this main oscillator here, there's the ink fountain. So just below that, you've got this main oscillator. And what I want to do is see if I can show you there's play in this. You can hear it. I can actually show it to you over here. This is the non-operator side. You can see the play in there. And we want to get rid of that because that'll cause shock lines sometimes. If you're printing a big screen, you can actually see because the oscillator, when it changes direction, is not a nice smooth change. So, I'll show you how to pull that out of there. Let's see if this camera's going to stay still. Okay, so the parts behind here, there's a two and a half millimeter Allen screw. There's a pin that comes through the top, comes all the way through this. We're going to knock it out the bottom. And we're going to take this arm and back it out. And the bushing that I'm going to be looking at is this bushing right here. It's like a half moon bushing. You can get that from right here, right? I'll be press parts. So first we're gonna loosen this two and a half millimeter. Allen, about one full turn. Sometimes they're really tight. Make sure you dig out the junk out of the bottom so you don't round off the head because if you do, then you've got a big job to go. Okay, so that set screw goes in and hits on that shaft. Now I'm gonna just take, and take a punch and a hammer. You don't need a very big hammer. You see the pin coming out the bottom. Let me see if I can turn this this way a little bit. I'm just going to be very careful so it doesn't fall down. And then I'll get it to that point and then I'll grab it. There we go. So you can actually see on the pin, if I get it wiped off, it's got, you see wear mark right there. So part of the wear in the whole mechanism is this pin right here. And then you can see my mark where the Allen screw hits against. I'm gonna to wanna to file that down a little bit when I put it back in so it goes in nice and easy. Just gonna hit it with that once. Like that. Okay, now if I pull this pin out, now this piece is going to rock forward, and that bushing is on the back side of it. This bushing. So I'm going to set that up there for a minute. Let's put this down here. Okay, so I'm going to rock this forward. And then that bushing is right back here. It'll actually fall right out the bottom. You can see it right there. So what happens, this hole gets egged out. And then there's, this mounts on the end of a shaft. That shaft is what turns very slowly. And the pin that this goes through is offset on the shaft. It's not right in the center. And actually here is a brand new shaft just to show you exactly what it looks like. You can see that pin is offset. So as this shaft spins, that bushing goes up and down. And this is what makes all of the oscillators, the three ink oscillators and the water oscillator go back and forth. So there's a lot of pressure on that bushing right there. So pull that out of there. Then you're gonna to wanna to inspect the pin in there. Make sure that it's clean all the grease off it. If there is grease on it, make sure it's nice and round. 
Sometimes they're shaped like a football, which means that shaft is bad. So it gets kind of egged out like so. But this pin here looks good. I don't know if I can... Yeah, this pin looks fine here. So, But if it was egged out, you can see it definitely. So to put this back together, you would take your new... You would take your new bushing and you're going to slide it up inside here with the flat part away from you like that. Then I'm going to take this cam follower and lay it in the pulley. Then I'm going to push this forward like so. Now I can't push that in there because the hole's got to be lined up. So that's when you take your, pink, your pinky and get around the back side 